Kyoto is one of the most you know popular tourist destination in Japan. But when it comes to living, mm-hmm. like it might be a little bit different. So I want to ask you about actually living here. Yeah. Yeah, it's different, really. I think I want to continue living in Japan, but no Kyoto. Probably not Kyoto. <laughs> oh really? Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Takashi from Japan. Today, I'm going to interview foreigners in Kyoto. What's it like living in Kyoto as a foreigner? And Kyoto is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Japan. But when it comes to living in Kyoto, what's it really like? What is the difference? What is the pros and cons of living in Kyoto? I'm gonna ask them. For people who want to come to Kyoto for living, for traveling, it's gonna be informative video. Let's find out today. On my channel, I interview Japanese people and foreigners in Japan. So it's the best channel for anyone who wants to come to Japan without traveling or living. And you can also learn Japanese here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and on my Instagram I show my daily life in Tokyo and share information about Japan so if you haven't followed yet please follow it too okay let's get started okay thank you for your help where from I'm from Bulgaria Bulgaria you live in Kyoto right yeah so what brought you to Kyoto in the first place uh, I'm studying abroad now in Kyoto University and I just like the university and I liked Kyoto so I decided to come and study here so I want to ask you about like pros and cons of living in Kyoto as a foreigner. Mm. Yeah, because I think like Kyoto is one of the most you know popular tourist destinations in Japan. But when it comes to living, mm-hmm. like it might be you know a little bit, it might be a little bit different. So I want to ask you about actually living here. Yeah. Yeah, it's different, really. <laughs> um, <laughs> as a tourist destination, it's amazing, especially in the spring, in the summer. There so many people it's so lively there are blooming sakuras it's so beautiful uh but when you live here um it's a bit different especially in the sum in the winter there's almost no one the streets are kind of desolated from my experience of living here um, the people can be rather cold compared to other places in Japan, like Tokyo and Osaka. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, when you sit on the subway, mm. like, there's almost no one sitting next to you. Even if oh, it's it full, yeah, it happens a lot. In Tokyo and Osaka, no. But in Kyoto, it happens almost every time. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe now, because of Corona, uh, there are not many foreigners, so they look at us a bit like, hmm. Oh, wh- why yeah. are you here? Oh, like who are you? Why are you here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I see, I see. And I recently went to Tokyo for the first time. It was amazing. Now oh. I'm thinking I would rather live in Tokyo. Really? Maybe it's just a lot more young people and oh, yeah, it's more yeah, yeah, lively. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I like that. Thank you so much. Last mm. question. Do you speak Japanese? うん、ちょっとだけ。ちょっと。この<笑> なんか英語大体できる人もいますし、英語でも生活できると思います。なるほど、なるほど。ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございました。ありがとうございます。Okay, uh, thank you for your help. Where from? Uh, I'm from America. America, where in America? I'm originally from Indiana, but my family currently lives in California. California. I want to ask you about living in Kyoto and in the first place what brought you to Kyoto? So I've been wanting to study abroad in Japan again because I studied abroad in high school in Osaka and I just love the vibe of Kyoto. I think it's like a really traditional city. The architecture and the mm-hmm. nature is beautiful. So I wanted to come and try living here. Try living here. Uh, locals in Kyoto, My, including Osaka too. Okay. Like, yeah. Uh, well, I think uh, yeah. Kyoto and Osaka are very different. Oh, can, can you explain <laughs> yes. how, how different it is? So people in Kyoto are very polite, almost too polite sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. people in Osaka are very friendly and yeah. they like to joke around. Mm. And I think for some people, if you're not used to that type of humor, it can be intimidating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a lot of fun. I really like the vibe of Osaka. For Kyoto, I think sometimes people can be a little smithai. Cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think there's a stereotype like Kyoto people are kind of like, you know, Pride, but at the same time, it's cold to others. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. But I still think people from Kyoto are very polite, and a lot of foreigners come here because it's a tourist destination.、Mm. So I think it's a pretty welcoming place.、Mm. I want to ask you about like pros and cons of living in Kyoto as a foreigner, actually living here. Like I can already speak Japanese, so. I didn't really want to live out in like the countryside. I wanted to live in more the city, so I can experience a lot of things. I think if you really want to immerse in like Japanese culture, maybe a big city like Tokyo isn't the best place to be.、Mm. Um, but Kyoto is really nice because you can experience the traditional side, the city life, and like、mm. Osaka, Kobe, all these like big cities and、mm. fun places to go are really close. So I think you can experience a lot of things. The cons. Yeah. yeah, yeah.、Mm. <laughs> Negative part of living in Kyoto. Where I live, there's a lot of、um, older people, elderly people,、oh, yeah, yeah. and I like more living with more younger people. <laughs> like Tokyo.、Mm. Yeah. I mean, just like for shopping and、uh. hanging out with friends in general, there's maybe less places、uh. than a big city, but. Not like I mean, party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you're living in Kyoto, right? Yes.、Uh, what's the plan? You're gonna live. In- Kyoto? Are you gonna continue living in Kyoto, or are you gonna go <laughs> some other city in Japan, or are you gonna leave Japan? Yeah, I'm. I haven't really decided yet. I think I wanna continue living in Japan, but no Kyoto. Probably not Kyoto. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? It's enough already. Um, I just like I don't have as many friends here. More in Osaka,、uh, and I wanna go to Tokyo to, like experience more things. Come, welcome. Ah,、uh, last question. Do you speak Japanese? はい、喋れます。喋れます。なんかさっき話した時はなんか英語話す機会がほとんど今もないっていう風に聞いたんですけど。しばらく喋ってないんで、まあ日本に来てからそんなに、うん、なんかアメリカの友達いるんですけど、電話はそんなにしないんで、うん、基本は日本語喋ってます。日本日本にいる留学生の友達とも日本語で喋ってる。はい、まあいろんな国から来てるんで、私、うん、東南アジアの友達が多くて、うん、その英語圏じゃないので。みんな日本語喋ってます。なるほどなるほど。ほど<笑>ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ます<笑> uh, thank you for your help. Where from? Yeah, I'm from Indonesia. Indonesia. You expand living lots of place in Japan, right?、Yeah. Including Kyoto here. Yeah. So I、uh, can you explain like where did you live and then like how was it like? Okay, so I, I first came to Japan. I lived in Nagasaki for about for one year. One year. One year. I studied、uh, in the Japanese language school. Okay. Then I moved to Tokyo. Then I moved to Kanagawa for one and、uh, to, about, about two years. Right now in Kyoto, about half year. Okay. And from what I've experienced living in Japan, I feel more calm.、Uh, I、mm. feel more enjoyable living in the countryside more than the city. And now you live in Kyoto, right? Yeah. What is the difference Kyoto between Kyoto and other cities? Okay,、uh, the people who lives in Kyoto is not. They they're not actually not friendly, but I feel that people in Osaka and Kanagawa are more friendly than the people who live in Kyoto. Osaka feels like a a big family, you know. I know yeah, there yeah, are so yeah, many friendly yeah, people yeah. in Osaka, but when I come to Kyoto, I feel like you know it's. Always about yourself, so、uh, people are not as friendly as Osaka. <laughs> Maybe it's just for me, I don't know.、Uh, but yeah, that's what I, some of people like this kind of lifestyle, but、oh, some yeah, of yeah, people yeah, 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 yeah. actually don't really like this kind of lifestyle.、Yeah. If you like to hang out, I you better go to Osaka、uh, and go to Kyoto for sightseeing instead.、Uh, how about you? Actually, I prefer this kind of lifestyle. Oh really? So,、yeah. Oh. Well, Kyoto is not as friendly, but it's、uh, okay for you. Yeah. yeah, it's a city, but also have a countryside of,、mm. you know, feeling about okay. it. Okay, last question. Do you speak Japanese? Ah, 全然大丈夫です。全然大丈夫です。四年間住んでるですね。えっと日本にトータルで。えっと今はえっとインドネシアの友達とかいますか日本に？あ、全然たくさんいますよ。あのインドネシアのコミュニティとか結構あの大きくて。それそれって東京は大きいのわかるんですよ。京都も大きいですか？そのコミュニティ。多いんですよ。はい。京都、大阪、神戸とか割とインドネシア人多いですね。あ,あ、そうなんですね。京都とか大阪とかは、はい、あのまあイスラム教徒のモスクとかあるんで、ねあのそこら辺あ行ったらインドネシアとかじゃなくて、まあアラブ人とかインド人とかの人も結構。初情報です。なるほどなるほどなるほど。ありがとうございます。<笑>
Thank you for watching so far. How was it? That was interesting. Actually, uh, when it comes to living in Kyoto, it's really different from you know traveling here. But it's really beautiful place. I really like here. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, click like button. Please subscribe to my channel. If, if there's any question that you want me to ask people in Japan, please leave the comment. See you next time.